What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video and today I'm going to talk about Sanremo 2024 and for whom, who does know me already, you know that this is my favorite national selection for Eurovision ever. And I know you will say that it's not a national selection. Actually, it's Italian national selection. Who is the best singer? Who has the best song? Basically the same what Eurovision is, right? Actually, this is the roots of Eurovision. The roots with the big R. It's about the artist who can perfectly sing. It's about the artist who can perfectly, perfectly present their song. It's about the perfect song and it's about the strongest, strongest and strongest of the industry of this year. And this is fascinating because no one can really match Italy in this. No one has such strong selection. No one has such strong artists in general. Like if I take the quantity, you know, the in national selection normally you have like two, three, maybe four if you're very lucky, like very strong artists. And then the rest are like, I don't want to say secondary or B or something like this, but the quality is different. Sanremo, it's amazing for the fact, I think this is very similar to Ukraine, but even better at my point of view, is that very often there are like top 10 songs with top 10 artists and each of those songs will compete for winning Eurovision or at least top 5, top 10, the worst, you know, and this is exceptional quality and that also means that the country takes its music industry and TV industry in general very very seriously and then the connection with Eurovision just makes it even better. Let's talk. Irama tu no. He's amazingly charismatic. He plays with his visage and sings perfectly, you know. Like Italy is somewhere else, come on. Mm -hmm. So, this is the first impactful song, really. I love how he can switch the tempo. Amazing. It reminds me of Tiziano Ferro a lot, somehow. Amazing, amazing. This is top five Eurovision material. And he don't stop singing, singing all the time. And he still keeps the tempo is not easy at all. Bravo. Good. It works. It has exactly the stop where it should have. It works. This, there is nothing to say about it. Only what could not work in this matter, in this song with Irama, is that you're just not fan of such ballads. Then, of course, you won't like it. But if you are open to like it, or if you're even a fan of such a genre, you would love it because it, it gradates slowly, but all the time up. His life 
performance it's outstanding also how visually he sells the song you feel that he lives with what he sings naturally it doesn't feel acted it, it even if maybe it's and probably it somehow partly is but it feels real and this realness also realness in his voice it's just another layer in already brilliant song it's like it's flawless the song itself it has no weakness it's only a matter if you like the genre or not it's also strong i really had a lot to do not to fall into it to cry or whatsoever because it has this power and it also doesn't feel that long at some point at some point you're part of the story life amazing amazing Irama. well and that's it if you have anything else to say, write me in the comments below. If you would like me to do whatever differently, write me in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check my other videos or last year's Sanremo videos, which I was doing. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. Don't forget to buy me a coffee. And also, no, there's nothing also, I already said everything. Thank you for watching. Bye. And that's it.